Hi there, my name's Bunny. I'm from Pilates and Yoga with Bunny. I'm going to give you a quick um, 15, 15 minute glute, glute Pilates session and we're going to think about breath work and activating our glutes. So this will be a really good one for you to do before you do any other sport and also to try and fit in with your lunch break and things like that in your daily routine to build build a little bit of glute strength in there if your glutes are a little bit under under active so we're going to begin in a standing position try and bring all 10 toes so they face the front and grow up nice and tall to the ceiling just going to wrap our shoulders down our back think about an invisible string nice and tall up high and inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth Inhale, exhale, and then taking the hands onto the hips, we inhale, and as we exhale, we're going to tuck our tailbone under, exhale, inhale, we're going to bring our tailbone up, just arch the spine a little tiny bit, and then exhale, tuck under, one more like that, so bum up, and then bum bum down. So we're thinking about trying to find that neutral pelvis. So we want to maintain that um, we're, in, we're in the in the center of those two rocking positions there. A soft bend through the knees. We're going to have a nice neutral, neutral spine here. And we're going to inhale to hinge forward. So a little bit of a hip hinge, nice straight back. And then exhale to stand up again. Okay, so inhale, push the tailbone towards the back of the room. Soft bend into the knees and feel a bit of a stretch down the back of the legs. Exhale, come up. Inhale down. Nice, strong, strong body, strong core. Exhale up. So you're really going to squeeze your glutes as you come up. Inhale down. Exhale up. So the spine should be, be neutral, not rounding. Inhale down. Engage that core. Exhale up. Okay, taking... Taking one leg backwards, you're going to find that, that hinge position and take one foot behind you. Now, keeping a soft bend into that front knee, maintaining that the, the uh, knee is over the ankle. And we're going to keep our pelvis into that neutral position. We're not going to arch through our back. I'm going to hinge forwards and then see if we can pick up the back foot. Now, when we pick up the back foot, our knees are going to be aligned. We're just going to lengthen that leg behind us and then bend it in. Okay, so lengthen behind, point, and bend it in. That's it, lengthen behind, and bend it in. So every time you're bending it in, you're gonna draw the heel to the sitting bone. So inhale forwards, exhale back, use a little bit of support if you need it. Try and maintain that you can feel the weight pushing through the heel of that standing leg. We got two more. So point backwards, exhale in and pull the heel to the bottom. Last one before we swap sides. Okay, so finding that rooting position down through, down through the foot there. You're gonna hinge forwards again. Nice, strong, strong core. Yeah, taking that weight backwards and using a support if you need it. Lifting up through that leg. So we point and we flex that heel to our bottom. We point, we exhale to flex. That's it, so point, exhale, inhale away, exhale in. So the heel is really coming up towards the bottom here. When you start feeling the hamstrings and the glutes engage. You've got another three. Inhale, keep that core nice and tight. And two, and last one. Good stuff, give your legs a, a, a shake. Okay, just a little bit of a roll downs to um, loosen off through those hammies now. So nice and tall. Exhale, roll over. Yep, scooping up through the spine, stretching out into the backs of the legs and curling all the way back up. We've got another two roll downs. So exhale, roll over. One vertebrae at a time, soft through the knees. And then inhale back up. Yeah, really scooping that navel up each time. Okay, and again, exhale down. And inhale, and then we're going to exhale all the way up. 
This will be a half one this time. So you can take your way and make your way down to a four point base. Taking yourself to that tabletop position. And we're going to, um, we're going to start with the leg slide. Just going to shuffle forwards a bit. So we're, think about that really good, strong foundational base. Wrists underneath our shoulders. We're going to make sure we're not sagging through our back or rounding, especially our upper back. So we want nice long lines through the body and thigh bones. Um, so they're nice and vertical to the ceiling as well. So we're inhale to prepare. As we exhale, we're gonna slide one leg along the mat, keeping that core nice and tight and then coming back in. Change sides. So inhale back, sorry, inhale to prepare, exhale back and drawing in. So we want to maintain here that the pelvis isn't rocking. Okay, so try and think about using your core to keep your pelvis nice and still here. Right, I'm adding on. So we're taking the leg back behind and we're gonna lift the leg without losing that core control. Okay, so pelvis is gonna stay nice and tight and bringing it in, changing to the other side. So take the leg away, lifting the leg, maintaining that hip stays nice and long and bring it back in. Okay, so I'm gonna add on, we're going out, we're going up, we're bending the heel up to the bottom, we're extending, we're coming down. So length, lift, heel to bum, lengthen, back down, and again. Exhale as the leg comes up, and bend that heel towards your bottom, keeping nice and tight. We're going again the other side, so reach, Try not to let that hip lift, squeeze that heel towards your bottom, extend and then come away. Stick with that or add on with me. So we're coming back with that leg. We're going here, flexing that foot. So we're going eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep that leg nice and high. We're extending the leg back and so knee's gonna stay still in space. We're going eight, Seven, six, five, keep that control. Four, three, two, last one. Change sides. Take that leg away. Keep the core nice and tight. Make sure that pelvis is neutral. We flex the foot. We go eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lengthen that leg. We go heel to bum, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, take yourself back to a child's pose. Just stretch out your spine, reach your fingers away. We're going back up to that position. If you're finding it difficult through your wrists, you can always come down onto your elbows. Okay, so take a few breaths, just let your spine um, stretch out a little bit there. Coming back up to that tabletop position, this time we go fire hydrant. So pee up the lamppost, yeah. Now what we wanna do is make sure that we don't let those hips drop over to the other side. So we're still maintaining, we're in that nice neutral position. Now the knee's gonna come out to the side with the foot at the same height. So we're inhale to prepare, we exhale, take that knee out and bring it down. So we're going eight. Try and keep those hips nice and level, that's it. And six, breathe out as you lift. Keep that control on the way down as well. So four and three and two and one. Okay, other side. So inhale to prepare, exhale, lift. Keep those hips nice and nice and even. That's it, the ankle's going with it as well. We're also keeping the other upper body nice and strong. So 
that's five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff. Going back to that first leg, going round in a circle now. So we go knee to elbow, we go out to the side, up and over. We go out and around. Okay, knee to elbow. So out and round. There will be movement for this one. Okay, out and round. Keep that core nice and tight. So we, we don't want to be putting pressure onto the spine. That's it. So out and around, up, stretch. Really think about that heel to the bottom all the time. That's it. Go for another three. And two. And last one. Swap to the other side. Okay, so knee to elbow. We go out and around. So one. And two. And three. Really squeeze those inner thighs when you come round. Four. And five. Almost there, six and seven and last one, eight. Well done. Come down onto your front. You're going to take your knees nice and wide now. Diamond press through your hands, knees nice and wide. Bringing those heels up over, over your knees. So let your head come down. We're going to have the core really tight here and imagine that we're long, um, a nice long body. We're frogging the feet, so the heels are together, the soles of the feet are up, up to the ceiling. Okay, so you're going to push your hips into the mat, you're going to draw your navel up to the ceiling, and we're really going to try and maintain that we don't have any space between the hip bones and the mat. So we will inhale, exhale, lift those heels as you squeeze them together, up to the ceiling. So inhale to prepare, exhale. Keep that core nice and tight, otherwise you're gonna to start to feel it in your back. Exhale. Don't be surprised if the knees don't lift very far. Yeah, so squeeze, squeeze. Lengthen that tailbone away from you, like we did in the warm up. Yeah, so squeeze and push those heels in together. Really feel this into your, into your bum cheeks here. That's it, we're going again. So we've got another three and two and one. Excellent. Let's lay on our side. We're gonna find oyster. So you're finding that side lying position. You can use a block for your, for your ear or you can use a, you know, just tuck your, tuck your arm in or a little pillow. I'm going to have my heels in line with my sitting bones and my hips and my shoulders stacked. And inhale to prepare and exhale and lift that top knee. I'm coming down. Exhale, lift. Now, if you can keep the stability and you can also keep a little lift in your side, I'm going to let you um, lift, lift the heels. Okay, so we want to maintain that we stay nice and still. So exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. That's it. Exhale to lift. In how to lower. So we've actually got 10 of these where we've added on. Yep. So squeeze those heels in together. Try not to rock the hips back. Exhale. Inhale. That's it. We've got another four. And three. And two. And one. Flip it over to the other side. Find that side lying position. Remember, no two sides of the sides are symmetrical. So depending on how you feel, yeah, it might be different this side. So bring the, bring the heels further back behind you. Try and imagine that little grape underneath your side. Pelvis neutral. So we're going to start with the heels on the heels on the mat. That's it. Exhale as you open. And you want that little bit of activation through the heels pushing in together. Then we go open oyster only if that feels okay. And, okay, so we're down to seven and six and five, that's it. 
keep those hips nice and still. Four. And three. And two. And one. Excellent. Come over onto your back. You're going to bring your knees into your chest. Hug them in nice and tight. Just try and lengthen out through the spine a little bit. Have a little rock from, from side to side there. Bringing your feet now into a wide, a wide position. So they're going to be turned out. Yeah, knees are open. We're inhale to prepare and my exhale, tuck the pelvis. Okay, and you're going to roll up into a wide knee bridge. You're going to make sure your rib cage is pulled in and we're trying to send the pubic bone up through to our knees and then roll back down. Now I want you to be as even as you can here from side to side. We're inhale to prepare, we're exhale. Roll up. Okay, inhale down. Really squeeze the glutes in together. So exhale, roll up. Try and stay as even as you can from side to side. That's it, curling back down. And again, so squeeze and curl. That's it. Now see if you can um, make sure that you're not rolling out onto the sides of your feet. So I want the bases of your big toe to still be touching the mat. That's it. So try and draw them inwards almost, even though you're pushing those knees out. We're going again for another two. Curling back down, this will be your last one. Really mobilizing the spine. Coming all the way down. Now bringing your feet to parallel position, hip width apart. We're either gonna do um, a double leg bridge or a single leg bridge. So we'll all start with two, um, two double leg first of all. So be inhale to prepare, exhale, push those hips up to the ceiling, draw that core in nice and tight, send that tailbone down and pull the ribs in. Inhale to come down, exhale up. Inhale down. Your choice is to carry on with those or elevate one leg. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale, keep those hips nice and even. So we still want to maintain that height that we have had all along, okay? So if you're gonna do those double bridges, we do two sets, okay? So we do eight and then we rest. And then we go again. So I got another three this side. That's it, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Last one for me, exhale up. And I'm gonna switch in the air to the other side. You'll be repeating or bringing your knees to chest if you're doing double leg. Exhale up, inhale down. And make sure you're really squeezing that bum cheek as you lift. Your hips are staying even. So if you cannot keep that control through the pelvis as you lift and you're getting saggy through one side, then you need to go back to those double leg bridges. What you can do to build it up is to elevate through the heel for a little while with the toes still on the mat, okay, with the other foot. So you can work up to actually lifting the leg off. Okay, another three and two. And one, and then bring your knees into your chest. Have a big roll out from your, from your spine. I'm just gonna give you one stretch on each, each side, okay? And then you need to go and do your own stretches. So you can see my other video, which is a glute, glute and low back release, which is a good one to follow after this one. Okay, so you're just gonna bring that ankle onto the knee. We're gonna reach through the gap. And then draw that knee in towards you. Don't worry if the foot needs to stay on the floor and you're just pushing the knee out to the side. Make sure you don't compromise any knee pain there. If it does feel okay, yeah, you're just gonna reach through onto, onto the shin. And draw that, draw that leg in. Quick stretch and then other side. Like I say, make sure you go and do some stretches after this. Yep. I will try my best to put a link in the in the um, comment box for you so you can follow straight on. So drawing that 
that knee out to the side, taking that leg into external rotation. And then rolling yourself around to a seated position. And thank you very much. So I hope you I hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you all soon. My name's Bunny from Pilates and Yoga with Bunny. And I'd love to hear your comments and I'd love to have a subscribe if um, you would like to just um, pop a pop a thumbs up and hit a like. So thank you very much and I'll see you soon.